Hi everyone, my name is Celia Hamilton. I'm the Strategic Planning Manager for the Social Biz User Group. Thanks for listening to this interview. Joining me today is Scott Souter, Program Manager for Messaging and Collaboration Solutions at IBM. Scott is also the Senior Product Manager for all of IBM's messaging products, including IBM Mail Next. Hi Scott, thanks for joining. How are you? Hey Celia, doing great. Thanks for uh, having me back. It's been a while since we've talked. It has been, yeah. Well, and today we're going to talk about Mail Next. Uh, IBM just had their big Mail Next launch, their signature moment. Can you summarize the latest news for people who didn't get to see it and talk a bit about what's different since we last saw Mail Next? Yeah, well, we, we've got a obviously a pretty exciting moment in, uh, mm. in the uh, life cycle of our messaging products, Mail Next obviously being sort of the hot topic right now. Um, as you know, and uh, you've already alluded to, yesterday was our huge uh, event that sort of marked the launch of Mail Next. Uh, big time advertising uh, campaign, big time uh, launch uh, right in New York City, right from Astor yep. Place, the new home of Watson, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, we, we um, this is probably a good point for where people should not con, con, con sort of confuse uh, the launch event that occurred yesterday with the fact that it's generally available because it's not yet. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a road to finish here. We're still heads down on development, and we actually won't be putting this product uh, into market in in all its glory until the end of uh, the first quarter of next year. So, uh -huh. yeah, we announced it yesterday, and uh, we'll actually be making it available uh, from a cloud perspective right at the end of March uh, of, of 2015. Great. Um, we also talked yesterday, I think, a lot about the the uh, beta program and uh, how people could actually get involved with that and, and sort of participate in that. A lot of a lot of opportunity for mm -hmm. folks, especially people who are going to be going to uh, the connected event in Orlando to jump on and participate in beta with us. Yeah, but we're pretty pumped about it. It's uh, gotten a lot of airplay over the last uh, the last eight or nine months. It's uh, caused me to have to sit in an airplane a lot over the last <laughs> eight or nine months, which which has been good. A lot of people want to know what we're doing, and, and there's a lot of excitement about it. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good it thing. It is. It is. You asked specifically if if people, you know, what what did they see different yesterday? Yeah. Well, yeah. So let me let me talk about that for just a second. So we obviously in January we we showed a, uh, a a concept right and got rave reviews. Analysts wrote about it. Customers were just going bonkers about it, and we've seen a lot of that energy and excitement continue throughout this year, which is a good thing. Um, but what we're, you know, where we are today at point in time, um, we've been using real code all throughout the year, sort of mm -hmm. showing people the progress of Mail Next. And whether you, you know, jumped on board in, in April and saw it, or you, you might have seen myself or one of my colleagues in uh, the July time frame, mm -hmm. or could have been in September, where, whatever point in time you saw it, you've, you've seen a nice progression. And that progression will continue right on through the the, the end of uh, of January, effectively, when we are code and, and pretty much feature complete at that point for the first release of Mail Next. So what we showed at Astor Place in New York City um, is not 100% complete yet, obviously. Right. And uh, we're we're going to continue. We're we're living in a in a space and time of continuous delivery, continuous development. That's what that's what's so cool about cloud, and uh, we're going to continue to do that. All through the end of the, the end of 2014 and right on into mm -hmm. 2015, so you'll mm -hmm. be seeing different things come into the product along that path. That's that's uh, shouldn't surprise anybody at this point. Right. So there's really a fine line here with all this reimagining. Uh, people complain about email the way it is; it's a bottleneck for getting things done. But people also hate change. And last year we saw Microsoft really fail to bring Windows 8 into the enterprise because it was just too outside the box. So how is IBM going to convince the enterprise that this shift in philosophy around email is really good business sense? <laughs> in other words, how do we avoid the uh, the adoption curve that our friends in Redmond have experienced? Right, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, well, you know, I, I think in in a lot of ways we already have. We've we've gotten a tremendous. We've already convinced people. Um, we've gotten a tremendous amount of of interest, as I said earlier, about uh, you know the, the the marketplace at large. I don't know if it's the people are so ready, and that could be certainly part of it. Um, we know there are things that we need to address and, and have addressed with Mail Next that um, have been some sore spots in our in our portfolio for a bit of time now. Mm -hmm. But the evidence that we're seeing, the, the 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 people that are sort of in our 
in our side of the, the ring at the moment, whether it's, you know, a, a set of tier one analysts, you know, Forrester or IDC or Gartner or whatever, or it's customers. Um, everybody is like sort of on the sidelines cheering us on right now. They're ready for there to be, a, for the, the, to be another mm-hmm. horse in the race. And, you know, as much as I hate to admit it, I, I will admit it, we've had some challenges over the last few years. And part of the excitement, part of the embracing, part of making, you know, good business sense, um, all of that sort of gets wrapped up in the enthusiasm uh, and sort of the embracing that we've seen people already have around Mail Next. And we've got some great messages uh, from a marketing perspective. If you've you know heard me talk about this, I always talk about Mail Next in the context of focus, find, and do. Those three mm-hmm. words kind of kind of sort of stick out mm-hmm. in terms of you know what we're doing in Mail Next. But our our uh, marketing team has has spent a lot of time developing an additional set of messages uh, around Mail Next that I think really sort of help ease that business kind of sense thing that makes it a little easier to digest. We talk about it in terms of mail that understands me. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talk about um, there being less clutter in my inbox and more clarity. Or we talk about connecting, well, we use the phrase connecting me to we. Mm-hmm. And really what we're saying there is just, you know, we're blurring the line between messaging and social. And golly, when you think about those three messages, who wouldn't want to embrace this thing? Particularly, you know, when you think about MailNext being a browser-based experience instead of a uh, an experience where you force me to install some giant rich client kind of thing. Yeah. Um, that's goodness, obviously, and that that makes business sense for a variety of reasons. When you think about MailNext being available on, you know, iOS and Android devices and taking advantage yep. of the modality of those devices, that makes good business sense. So we're on a really good thing here, and uh, we think the market's going to respond. Uh, if, if it responds like we've been experiencing the last seven or eight months, we, we, we've got a good thing in the making here. And you mentioned earlier um, it's going to be available cloud first at the end of Q1 2015. Right. When will it be available on premises? Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the sixty-four thousand dollar questions everybody <laughs> is asking. Um, uh, yeah, I I want an on-premises version of this thing as well. I was sitting, um, golly, just just a few days ago uh, with uh, one of our development vice presidents and. And uh, she and I were in a briefing with some of our other IBM colleagues, a large account, a uh, very important account. I won't share the name of the account. Sure. But somebody asked from the account asked her the same question. And I liked her response. Um, we're, we're all about doing this on-premises. I mean, we've, we've, been, we've, we've not been shy in saying that, yeah, we get it. We understand that people are going to want the, the capability and in a similar fashion on-premises that we're building here in the cloud. But she was very clear, and I, and I, I really like the answer that she gave. I have a lot of respect for her. It's Ronnie, Ronnie Moffat. Everybody knows mm-hmm. Ronnie. Sure. But uh, Ronnie, her answer was, you know, we're gonna, we we get it. We're gonna do something from a cloud, from a from an on-premises perspective, rather. Um, but frankly, we're gonna see what the uptake is in the cloud because we've got a ton of momentum behind cloud right now, as everybody can sure. uh, knows and appreciates. But Absolutely. we're gonna see how that plays out in in a good chunk of 2015. We'll make some decisions along the path in 2015 to, to where and when we actually do the on-premises piece. But we, in, in, in all candor, we actually, and this was her response, we may actually wait until 2016 before we do hmm. the on-premises version. Um, we don't want to sell the cloud stuff short. We expect there to be a pretty good ramp up throughout 2015. Mm-hmm. IBM is an example. You know, golly, we're moving all 400,000 people into cloud uh, inside of IBM over the course of 2015 and into early 2016, part of wow. that experience will be Mail Next. Wow. Um, so we want to give the cloud, a, you know, it's a, 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 a decent shot here at success before we absolutely start working on the on-premises thing. But it will come, and uh, I think you know, we'll, we'll we'll make sure that we are signaling signaling to the market uh, the time and place at which to expect that. But you know, that probably gives you at least a little bit of an idea of what we're thinking. Yeah. On premises. Sure. So connected is just a couple months away. I assume you'll be there. Oh, you're giving me a heart attack. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a couple months away, and yes, I'll be there for sure. And what are we going to see around Mail Next at Connected? You're going to see. Well, I guess you know, if I if, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. So. Right, right. <laughs> well, <laughs> what if you could hint at what we're going to see? There you go. Well, you're you're going to see a, a pretty pretty darn near close feature.
feature complete product at mail next if not mm. feature complete um all of all of the uh, what we call delighters really it's just a uh, the, we use design thinking in in terms of how we're you know designing and building this product and we use the word delighters we're basically using a a, a, a kind of a code word, I suppose, for how we describe functionality and features and you know, meaningful functionality, meaningful features, how we bring those into the product. But by the time we get to Connect Ed in, uh, in, uh, at the end of January in Orlando, we'll be right on the edge of being feature complete. We'll lock down for you know, either another 45 or 60 days for regression sure. testing and polishing. Uh, but yeah, you're going to see the real deal. And I think uh, knowing Jeff and, and having a chance to be with Jeff in a lot of customer presentations these days, um, he'll have a few things up his sleeve that he'll be ready to share with people at, at uh, the event in Orlando. Mm-hmm. So uh, beyond just the product itself uh, being pretty much pretty much complete, expect Jeff to have some exciting things to share as well. Oh, so good. we're all pretty pumped about it. Very cool. It sounds uh, sounds like uh, it's going to be pretty neat. Yeah, absolutely. You going to be there? I am going to be there. Yep. Awesome. Cool. We need to get everybody, get all our friends and neighbors there for sure. I know it's going to be a small, intimate, but it'll be nice. It'll be easy to find everyone you need to find. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, one quick thing about about the event, I've had a chance to uh, uh, again this year sort of be on the approving side of the, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the the tracks and the content that goes mm-hmm. into several of the tracks. And so I've got a kind of a sneak preview of what's going going on. And you know, I know we have said all along it's going to be a technical event. It is going to be a technical event, but it's also going to have an element that appeals to, you know, the business side as well. Um, you know, we don't want to scare off our business sure. um, you know, professionals. But, yeah, I, having sort of seen sort of the the abstracts and the presenters, I'm pumped about this event. It's it's going to be fun. It's going to be uh, a highly engaging and, like you said, a, a more an intimate event that, you know, I think we have all sort of longed for for a while now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's kind of cool to see us get back to some of the roots that we, you know, had from years gone by. Yeah, definitely. Event. Yeah, definitely. cool. So I'll look forward to seeing you there. Yeah, definitely. Well, those are all my questions. Thanks, Scott. I really appreciate the time you've taken to answer my questions. My pleasure. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And for our listeners, please check out socialbizug.org. We're a community for professionals using IBM's collaboration solutions like Notes, Domino, Connections, and XPages. In fact, our site's built using those very technologies. Membership and everything on the site are completely free, so register today. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at SocialBizUserGroup.